Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Momo Paintball, and today I've got an Empire Resurrection Autococker in hand. I'm about to show you what it's all about. All right, Mark, we're gonna bust into this bad boy first, and then we're gonna do a little comparison between the Resurrection and the old school original. So guys, without further ado, I've got one brand new in box here. I'm just gonna pull it out, kind of uh, go over a couple of the features with you. Uh, I haven't done a video like this yet, so I figured I'd bring you something a little bit new. So this is the Empire resurrection auto cocker it's been out for a couple years now i want to say at least a year and a half probably two years um i've never done a video on one of these so i figured i'd just do a quick unboxing kind of compare it to an old school auto cocker and show you a couple of the differences so best thing i like about this i'm going to go over the features real quick um for you guys that don't know the auto cockers came out i want to say in the 90s uh popular very popular in the early 2000s and it was one of the first closed bolt system guns, if not the first. It's been a long time. It's been a very long time. For you guys that don't know, closed bolt system, when you air this gun up, this bolt is staying forward. Uh, the reason for that is they designed this gun um, back when I think Bud Orr from War Games, way back when, designed the gun um, that closed bolt design systems, when the bolt is forward and aired up, it's completely sealed. So this literally bolt has to come back the ball drops into the chamber and then it shoots forward again. Because when this gun is aired up, bolt is forward, you pull the trigger, three-way system operates, goes back, and then launches the ball out as it drops in the chamber. So anyways, just kind of wanted to show you like how the gun worked, why it's like this, what's all this crazy stuff up front. This is a three-way system. Uh, this has been redesigned by Empire. Uh, things are a lot smaller, and I'll get to that in just a minute, than uh, they were when these guns originally came out. Um, the three-way system, they've got the components, the RAM, the uh, rock reg, and then your uh, actual, the actual three-way itself uh, is, is, has been a lot smaller. Uh, it's, it's sleek compared to what it used to be. So uh, for the resurrection, low operating pressure system for the regulator here, consistent shots, gets you more shots out of a tank fill. You've got the original 45 wrap grips on this gun, which is like the feel a lot of these old school guys that really grew up uh, shooting the autocockers really wanted is this 45 frame, which is very, very nice. Like I said, guys, in this 45 frame, which is very, very nice. So onward, you're wondering where's the barrel at? Well, I'm gonna set the gun down for a second and we're gonna hop into the bottom of the box here which the best part about this gun currently retailing at right around 550 bucks it does come with they say it's a six piece set but i really call it it's a true five obviously you're always going to need a barrel tip but it does come with five barrel backs you've got a 675 you got a 680 you got a 685 a 690 and a 695 they're literally hitting every mark of uh, size of paintball that you're going to see the nine o's and the nine fives you can kiss those goodbye. The paint is so small these days. Literally, I love that they include a 675 because you're probably going to use that in the 680 the most out of this entire kit. But they do give you the option, which is great. This gun retails at 550 bucks and comes with everything. Obviously, it comes with your new um, kit here. It comes with the lube, the line, extra O-rings, ball detents, um, some of the really basic parts that you're going to need to rebuild the gun. So I like this. I really like that it comes with so many barrel backs. It gives you a full on kit and it gives you the gun. The gun's got an on off system, it's nice. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into a full on review. It's got external ball detents that you can just take out like the other cockers did. Uh, and they're dual ball detents actually. So on each side, you've got a ball detent. So Mark, I'm gonna jump onto the comparison here. Enough talking about this. It's a cool gun, 550 bucks. Um, I think they really did a good job on this. Uh, compared to the old school, they did trigger work to it so uh, you can't short stroke the gun per se but let's compare that to this this is uh this is an older style cocker i mean it's not too old but this is definitely what what they look like big and bulky and i mean the three-way system on this thing is it's pretty large compared to what we've got going on here so if you get a good shot i'll hold both of them up 
take a look at them guys like side by side i mean obviously the empire resurrection doesn't have all the fancy milling but for 550 bucks coming with five barrel backs and the tip compared to this thing back in the day i mean this is going to run easily it's a custom built it's a cold fusion auto cocker uh by pmp paintball well over a thousand dollars for sure you've got your huge uh this is a, actually like a this is a die rock rag i've got all these planet eclipse qbvs on here which are the quick exhaust valves help the gun cycle faster and the three-way system overall um, obviously you could get a just a stock three-way that's not the electronic planet eclipse one but still like comparing the front end of this to the front end of this resurrection like this older style one is a lot bigger more bulkier than this one so you're looking at the three-way system here I mean in my opinion they definitely slim things down sleek things so you can take a look there all right, guys, so uh, this was just like a real quick, uh, just an unboxing showing you what that Empire Resurrection Autococker comes with, what it looks like. Very sleek, very cool, 550 bucks. Old school autococker, new school autococker. This is why they brought it back. They realize the game is kind of coming for full circle again. So newer players, they have no idea like what it was like back in the day shooting the autococker, automag, stuff like that. So they brought it back, great price point. So like what kind of hoppers and like, is there anything different you would want for the mechanical gun versus maybe some of these more electronic space guns as they call them? I mean, still you can rock whatever hopper you want on here. Um, I mean, depending on how quick you want to pull this trigger, I would always suggest rocking an electronic hopper. I mean, you can get away with just a stock gravity fed, but pull the trigger real slow. You can put an electronic hopper on here, which I would highly suggest definitely with this one because this one's electronic this one's not but um tank wise obviously you're going to want to run a high pressure air tank hpa you don't be putting uh, co2 through it and uh that's that got any other questions uncle mark yeah what about aftermarket accessories that used to be available for like the older auto cockers? do they still work on the new stuff nah it's the, the same the yeah i mean for like the three-way system yes but I mean, this gun is really meant to be pulled out of the box, shot as is. You don't need to do any upgrades. Um, it does come with the clamping feed neck. All the cool stuff, like I said, 550 bucks, nice um, low pressure regulator on here. It's got the on off at the bottom. And that's what, that. What's the uh, rate of fire, would you say, on that? How quick can you pull your trigger finger? is the question 900 balls per second got it yeah i don't think it's going to shoot 900 balls per second but i mean you can definitely probably rock depending on how quick you are probably rock anywhere from 12 to 15 balls per second on this bad boy um if you're really quick i mean you got to be just got to be on this bad boy so this is the empire resurrection auto cocker quick comparison with the old cold fusion from pmp paintball uh give this video a like Put in the comments below if you'd like to see any other comparison videos and uh, go to lomopaintball.com. Check out that online store. Go to the Jerky Den. Get that good lean protein in your life. Take it easy, guys. I'm out of here.